Hi there, welcome to this video from in 28 minutes. What we'll do in this specific video and actually we are going to create a series of videos on how to become a software architect. One of the things that I have started doing recently is trying to meet uh, somebody directly face to face um, every day. So I, I'm trying to meet software developers. I'm trying to meet software testers and architects, um, at least one of them every day face to face. Um, this is what we call the lunch with Ranga. And what we have is I'm obviously, as you would know, I live in Hyderabad and I chose a place in Hyderabad and I'm meeting different people every day. And it's called the meet me and lunch with Ranga. Uh, you can find a link uh, to Calendly in the description of this video where you can find more information about it. So if you are interested and if you are in Hyderabad, go ahead, register and you get a chance to talk to me. I get a chance to talk to you. So that would be awesome. The idea is to actually talk about your career, what you see, where you see the he technology heading and what are the things you'd want to learn. And also uh, kind of I would want to learn from you as well. So is there something that uh, you know that uh, I might be interested in. So it would be interesting. So let's uh, start with that. That's number one. If you want to meet me, just go to the link down there and you can schedule a meeting with me. Now, coming to the software architecture thing, um, I've met a couple of people during the last week. And one of the things I find is a lot of people are not aware how to start their journey towards software architecture. Right. So what happens is a lot of people have good experience. Uh, they have been developing stuff for a long time and they want to start their journey towards becoming a software architect. But the thing is, they have no idea how to start that journey. How do you start the journey towards becoming a software architect? What we have done last year is we created a course called developer to software architect and you can find the link to that course in the uh, description of this video. So if you go to learn microservices, oops, I think I missed out putting the uh, link to the video. Let me just fix that right away. So let's go to the learn page, find the link to the architecture video. Where is it? Right click, copy link address and okay. Now I've actually put uh, the course link as well in the description of the video right now. So if you look at that course, it should give you enough information to get started. One of the things I've discovered during the last few days while I meet people is Yes, I would want to learn a lot of things. That's good, right? So as an architect, you would need to know a lot of things. But also there are a lot of soft skill aspects which are involved with becoming a software architect. Right? Software architecture is not just about um, technology. It's also about communication. It's about handling business, right? So at the end, whatever we are doing with technology is actually satisfy business needs. Whether you are developing a shopping application, whether you are developing an insurance application, the most important thing is the success of the business, right? So your technology enables business. So as an architect, you are the link between business and technology. So it's very important as an architect to have an understanding of that and also to make sure that you get the necessary skills. So the question is, how do you start that kind of journey towards a software architecture? So one of the things that we discussed yesterday with one of the guys I've met is the fact that the most important thing is to start taking more responsibility. As a developer, you might be part of a scrum team. So you are responsible for developing stuff in your specific thing, right? So what do I mean by taking more responsibility, right? The first thing you can start doing is taking more ownership of technical things in your team. So let's say there are three developers, four developers, five developers in your team, and you would want to start your journey to a software architect. So what you can start doing is take responsibility for 
the technical challenges. A lot of times I see developers, okay, when there's a new technical challenge, they don't really want to do that. But I would really recommend you to start taking that option, start taking uh, the option of taking up the challenge and taking the ownership of solving technical challenges in your projects. So that's number one. Number two is the roles towards multiple scrum teams, right? So you have a number of scrum teams and most probably they would be using similar technologies. So for example, let's say you are in projects where you have microservices being developed, then you can try and take responsibility. So you can remain the developer of a specific team, but take ownership of a specific technology and the challenges with that technology for a group of scrum teams. So that would enable you to take uh, further ownership, learn more, um, meet with a lot of people and also start thinking about the challenges at a big picture level. This would be the small steps that you can start taking. And in addition to that, what you can start doing is uh, take ownership of tech. Oops. <laughs> I kind of lost it at that particular point. So in addition to that, what I wanted to tell was um, you can start getting the part of the guild meetings, right? So if uh, there is an organization and there are a wide range of technologies which are being used, there are a number of technology guilds which are present. So you have a front end guild, so a Spring Boot guild. So if there is nothing like that, then try and start one. So you can start taking ownership, try and uh, be part of that uh, group of people who are doing something, try to identify common things, try to identify, try to build common stuff for your enterprise. And that would also enable you to start taking your steps towards software architecture. So what we did during this last few minutes is kind of uh, get a idea about um, the three soft skill kind of things that you can do to start your journey towards software architecture. Number one, take more responsibility in your team. Number two, start taking responsibility for a group of Scrum teams, at least for the technical challenges. Number three is also to be part, get part of technology guilds, right? So that would enable us to uh, become, uh, uh, take small steps, right? So you cannot become a uh, like software architect in one day. You cannot say, okay, next I'm going to be a software architect, right? So the journey has to be small steps, just like the courses that we have. So the these are kind of the small steps that I see um, in the path to becoming a software architect. Now, having talked about it, I would really recommend you to try the course. Um, I've included a coupon for it in the description as well. So you would love the course if you are actually hearing me, uh, like if you are interested in what we are talking about now. Uh, the other thing, as I said earlier, is if you want to meet me, there's a Calendly link. Um, I mean, obviously this is restricted to somebody who's in Hyderabad or if you're traveling to Hyderabad soon, then it applies to you as well. And also I've actually put in a number of videos. So what we have done at in 28 minutes is we created a number of videos related to software architecture, software design. So what I've done is actually included a link to the videos as well in uh, the description. So uh, there are about 50 videos, which uh, I mean, which are awesome, you can uh, give them a try as well. So let's quickly look at the videos that we have created. So if you look at the videos that we have created, we have created a number of uh, videos around microservices. What is a microservice? What are the things that you need to be thinking about when you start your journey towards uh, microservices architectures and also the best practices around microservices? But like, these are all free videos. These are all available on YouTube. These are like you can watch them. So you would see a lot of technical terms which are in here and just pick up a video and watch it. And there are videos on design patterns. There are videos on the best practices in software development, like continuous integration, continuous delivery, and important design principle, single responsibility principle, which is actually a solid principle, right? So we also talk about four principles of simple design, building APIs, REST, SOAP, uh, what encapsulation, contract first. So most of the technical terms that you would hear, they are all covered in here. And so like, 
obviously software architecture, right? So there are a wide range of stuff around software architecture as well in here. So you can check them out. And if you are interested in any other topic, which is not really part of this and which is related to software development and software architecture, I would love to hear about it. So leave a comment and I would definitely think of creating a video on that specific topic. Okay, now um, this was an interesting thing where I start sharing a lot of information about what we are doing and hopefully you uh, like this and hopefully we'll be able to meet again. Until uh, the next time, thanks, bye-bye.